Hello and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today we're going to make a card, well this is only the front of it, but I'm going to show you how to do the complete card. It's got a couple of different techniques in it. So we're doing shadowing, um, resisting, uh, an ink resist technique, and we're going to be doing a splatter technique. So it's going to have three techniques on the one card. So I will show you how I have done this. So to start off with, I'm going to be using Lavinia, um, it's called a Fir Tree One. So that's what we're going to be stamping with. And I'm going to be using Elements Graphite for the first part. So we're going to just ink that up to start with. And then stamp one tree. So I'm trying to get it as close to the center as I can. And then I'll ink it up again and do a second tree. So you don't have to use trees for this thing. You can use any sort of stamps that you like, but I just like this with the trees that looks wonderful with a feather as well but for Christmas we're going to use trees and we'll do the third tree okay so now I'm going to clean up my stamp I need to make sure it's nice and clean and dry for the next step so next up I'm going to stamp it with Versamark. Now, if you haven't used or seen Versamark, it's a clear sticky ink and it's great for using when you want to do embossing because the ink um, will stick or the powder will stick to the ink. Okay, so hopefully that's right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is using the Versamark, I'm going to ink it up. Now, because it's clear, it's very, very hard to see. So make sure you give it a good coverage. Now, lining up the tree that I've just stamped, so we're going to just hover the stamp over the top and move it to the left a little tiny bit and then stamp it. Give the ink a chance to soak into the card and then we're going to repeat that again with the other two just ink it up again make sure you ink it really well line it up with the center and move it a little fraction to the left and press And once more, and we just hope this works out all right because it's very hard to say, <laughs> and we'll find out in a moment. <laughs> and so the third one over the top and a little bit to the left. Okay, let it soak in. And lift. Okay, so now we're going to get a script bit of paper. And I'm going to be using Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder. So we're going to cover the pictures with the embossing powder. Make sure it's well covered. And then tip off the excess. There we go. I think you can see that on there. I'll just pop this away before I knock it and blow it everywhere. Now I'm going to use the heat gun to melt the embossing powder. So make sure you heat the heat gun up well. Sorry about the noise. Make sure you heat it up well before you actually take it to your work. And now we'll melt the embossing powder. Now before 
before I had a heat gun, I used to do my embossing over a poster. <laughs> and it works. You just have to make sure it's hot first. See that melting? Okay. Alrighty. So that's that part done. Now I've just got to cool it off. You don't want the next step to be on hot card. So we'll just cool it down. Now, what I'm going to be using now is Distress Oxide Stormy Sky. And I'm going to blend that over the stamped images and the stamped and embossed. Now, I'm just doing a circular motion and I'm going to go around the trees and around, not quite to the edge of the card because I'm going to go around the edge with another blender soon for a bit more colour to it. So you don't have to necessarily use the colours I'm using, you can use other colours. Alrighty. Just keep going till you've got the depth of colour that you want on your background. That's about it. And then, with a bit of paper towel, just rub over your embossed areas to get the ink off the embossing powder. And that will bring it up a lot brighter. Okay. So now you can see the trees have got like a shadow effect behind them. Now the next thing I'm going to do is Dipping, I've got a fan brush here and I'm just dipping it in plain water and I'm just going to splatter it over the card. So what that's now doing is the water will bleach the ink. So we'll just let that sit for a minute and then we're going to dab it dry. So now I'll start dabbing at it and you can see where it's hit the ink, it has bleached some of the ink colour out. It gives it a snowy sort of effect. Okay, so hopefully I've got all that dry now. And now, using a foam pad and the blender, I'm just going to ink up the blender. I'm going to go around the edge of the card. Go all the way around the edge. So instead, of, if you didn't want to do the bleaching part, you could add little blings or using a Posca pen, you can dot white bits to make snow. Okay, and now we're going to put the card together. So I've got a matte card to go on and a base card. So we'll just pop the matte onto the base to start with. Now I'm just using a 450 um, quick dry adhesive. You can use um, double sided tape if you like. A lot of people prefer that over glue. Depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I prefer the glue because you've got a bit of wiggle space to line everything up where you want it. And then we'll attach the next one. Now remember when you attach the top card that you've got your base card in the direction you want it. I have, and I'm sure other people have too, put it together only to realise you've got the card upside down or back to front. Yeah, and we'll just pop that on there. Just flip it 
over. Give it a good press, make sure it's all stuck. And now I'll just add a little sentiment to it. So I've got some little Merry Christmas stickers here. So you can buy a lot of these from the craft shops and they come in all sorts of things, not just Merry Christmas. You can get to suit just about any occasion you would want. I could just get it up. Now they're very fine, so I've got to just be careful that I don't stick it onto itself. And I'm going to pop it up in this top corner. Just push that into place. And there's the card done. I think it's a very effective technique, or three techniques, and uh, very easy and quick to make. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you have, do give me the thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my um, tutorials. And I also, I'll add a link in the description to my Facebook groups. I've got two. One's called Barossa Valley Crafts. The other one is called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. And feel free to come and join us and share your crafty creations. They don't have to be from my tutorials. They can be anything that you've made using any products. We're not limited by brands or anything. Thank you for joining me and um, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.